Hi everyone! Welcome to Crafty Grandma Gina's. I'm Gina, obviously. How are y'all doing today? Glad you could make it. I uh, bought a few things from Ramblin' Randy's... No. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I gotta go look and see what it is. It's Random Ram Randy's Ramblings. I bought some stuff that she had um, on an auction at Ooh Ah Crochets. Um, some of it I had shipped to my friend already in Washington because um, I bought it specifically for her. And some I had shipped to me. I got a triangle bag of uh, it's um, Nightmare Before Christmas and it's got a little hook on it so you can hang it. I'm going to put my um, Wonder Clips in here for sewing and hook it on to my sewing machine thing here that I or my my cart. You guys all use it for crocheting and stuff, but I use it for um, um, my sewing. So that way I can keep stuff all organized, just like everyone else does for crocheting. Then I ordered um, a headband. I got this for my niece. I don't know if she'll like it, but I got it for her. <laughs> And uh, I got a hat, Steelers kind of colors, so my brother-in-law can wear it to the uh, Steelers game. So when he goes to those, this I got for myself. It's uh, a reddish color, burgundy kind of color, and these are made on the knitting machine, so they're knitted, um, kind of. And that one, I think it will look nice in the winter um, with my dark burgundy coat. So I got that for myself. Then I got a skull <laughs> puppies bag. So cute. And it's a, a drawstring. Whoops. Drawstring bag. And it's got a little handle on it. Made out of uh, the nylon cord or nylon stuff. And so it'll fit my little knitting projects and stuff in it really easy. And it folds it up nice and neat. Then I got a paisley one. And it's not a drawstring. And it has her little logos in it. And uh, I'll link her, her channel name and her Etsy shop in the description if I figure it out. And then so I got the green paisley. Like it. Then I got this one to send to my sister. She's a, a wine drinker, and I thought she could haul her wine home from the store or just to use it to put stuff in Does she when she goes with her friends out for drinking wine. And it's got this cool purple checks inside. I love the purple jet buffalo plaid checks. That's really pretty. And I got a couple Christmas ones. Got red stripes on the inside and then candy canes and holly. Isn't that cute? So I'll use those at Christmas time. And then I got a black one with just holly. And it's got green, um, oh, what's that called? Green on the inside. The grunge, green grunge on the inside. Isn't that so cute? And so I bought all that stuff from her to help her out. And then I bought a few things on my own for just because I wanted them. <laughs> Obviously, people don't buy stuff because they don't. And uh, I uh, made baby socks before, and uh, I won some sock stuff from Bonnie's Got Knits. Well, it's not sock yarn, but I'm going to make it sock yarn. It's sport weight. And I also got a kit from Mary Maxim way back when that's got sock yarn in it. And I want to make a couple pairs of socks um, for my dad's girlfriend for Christmas. So I bought the Sock Knitter's Handbook. <laughs> and it tells you, uh, it's got a lot of, well, it says it's expert advice, tips, and tricks. And uh, it's by Charlene hmm, and Beth Parrott. <laughs> Here's who it's by. <laughs> And uh, it, uh, let's see, when, when it was, it was 
is from was published in 2012. So it's very recent and it tells you all about, you know, different um, parts of the sock and then it tells you how to different cast on, cast ons, um, different uh, cast offs and then it tells you um, different heels, different toes um, to give you like the option. It does have like um, some patterns in it um, for certain kinds of socks and then it shows you certain um, how to do certain like the Kish Kitchener stitch um, as a bind off it shows you how to do that and then it just tells you it tells you how to repair them if you break them <laughs> and then it has different stitches in it that you can do on the sock itself um, so it's a pretty cool book and um, I got it from thrift books then I also well I also from I think it was thrift books here's the oh no it was Hamilton books Hamilton books because I got both these and then I got knit a bear so um, I can't seem to get amigurumi it hurts my hands crocheting hurts my hands worse than knitting I mean I'm still crocheting <laughs> uh, but I'm knitting also and I seem to get more I can do knitting a lot longer so I want to make some knitted bears so look at her isn't she so cute and then there's this little guy right there. He's pretty cute, too. There's 15 of them in here. Um, here's a page with all of them together. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see them, really. And then here's uh, them all separate. There's uh, them ones. Then there's some down there. And then there's more over here. And then there's six four right there. Um, not sure which one I will probably make first. Probably this one right here. He kind of looks like Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, and that's what my um, stepson's um, baby's gonna have for his his room. It's uh, it sounds like to me. And um, then I got another another book. It's called, um, thanks to, oh, who was showing this? Yarn Joy, Terry, I think was, maybe it was her. Can't remember who was showing it, but they showed it, and so I had to go get it. Um, maybe it wasn't Terry because she doesn't knit. It was somebody who knits also. Um, and so there's some really pretty stuff in here um, that I want to try. There's some stuff that, that I wouldn't, wouldn't, well, I might knit it if somebody wanted it, but I wouldn't wear it. About the page. Here's a page that's got some of them. Let's see, there's uh, the uh, shrug and a cowl and then the shawl and some socks. That's the one I want to I want to make that first, and then uh, maybe some of the the fingerless knits. Those are really cute. I might make those socks, but they're plain. They're not. Um, there's no heel and toe. <laughs> they're just plain socks. They would be really easy. They're like um, uh, sweat socks. And then there's this one here, made out of chunky. I don't. Pretty much everything in this book is made out of chunky. If the person would have said that, I probably wouldn't have got the book because I'm not a fan of Chunky. But knitting Chunky is easier than crocheting Chunky for me. Um, let's see. There's a capelet on a Chunky yarn. It's cute. I mean, it's just plain. It's got a few. Um, oh, you can see it there. In the, in that picture <laughs> you can see that it's got some um, holes from increasing the raglan there's some gauntlets fingerless mitts whatever <laughs> they don't put a fit up to your thumb so they're called gauntlets and they're real pretty 
might go a little further and make them fingerless gloves. That would be cute. And here's the shawl. Oops, wrong way. It goes, um, it's, construction is different. It's um, four different ways that you make the triangle. It's kind of interesting. And you do um, short rows. Then here's an infinity scarf. They're made with the, this one's Cascade Magnum yarn. Let's see if I can see a better picture of the gauntlets. Now, here's some more gauntlets. They're not as, uh, not as much cabling on them. And then there's some boot cuffs that are, boot cuffs that are leaves. <clears throat> and then there's the shrug. It's really tight. Um, it doesn't look, I mean, it looks really tight. It doesn't look like it's comfortable. That's another picture of it. This one I really like too. If I minus the hood, I would take the hood off, but isn't that pretty? It's got lots of uh, cables and different stuff in it. Some lace. I'm going to see a closer, a better one. Yeah, this one's kind of better. Oh, my hand's in the spot where you can see. Okay, let's switch hands. There you go. I think it's pretty. I would pick a different color yarn, but it's pretty. Uh, here you can kind of see the back on a little better. They should have did it without the leaves showing on it or the shadow would have helped the picture. Oh, here's a better one. There you go. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to try to make that after I get done with the stuff I'm going to show you. And then there's a cowl. Cowls, I'm not a fan of cowls. They're kind of boring. And here's a bigger picture of the socks. And here's the capelet that I really like. Except I think I would make I would make it a little bit wider so that it could close in the front a little more. Here's the back of it. Add one more section of the triangles there and it would be perfect. Then they, they got one cowl that's made out of fur. Not even touching it. <laughs> then they got some plain boot cuffs. And some arm warmers, more gauntlets. They're just stocking it or yeah, garter stitch with a little bit of cables in it. And then another cowl that you can't see very good. It's in the dark. And here's a little bit better picture right there. They did it in the green. It's real pretty. And that's all of that book. So those are the books I got. And then, uh, so I got a lot of books. And then I'm working on uh, some stuff for my son's um, baby. And I got a corner to corner going. I'm on the down slope. <laughs> I'm using uh, Red Heart Ombre Teal. So it's making a nice stripe blanket. I'm on, I did one, whoa, one whole um, skein on, that's when I, I little, it was a little more than a skein. I got two here. Um, well, one and a half left. So I'm on that down slope. I'm this far into the down slope. <laughs> so we're getting there. Um, I can do about a half a row, take a break, half a row, take a break. And so I got that going for him. Um, he's due in the end of April. So hopefully I can get it done before he gets here. <laughs> and then I'm making him a, a little sweater. Get it out of here. I'm using the, uh, Yarn that uh, actually Crystal's giveaway that she did today has two more bags of this stuff that she got. Um, I uh, 
got online and ordered it when I saw it, and it's so soft and so pretty. This one is called the Chasson. She has some white and pink, I think, in the giveaway today. I got the white, too, but I didn't buy the pink. But uh, yeah, this is kind of it's really pretty. I don't know what the color name is. I'll tell you here in a sec. Yeah. It's a four weight and it's roving. And huh. It says no die lot, sans lot, sin tenor. I don't know if that's the uh, name of it. It's hundred percent acrylic. It's a four weight. I think sometimes it's way less than a four weight. It gets down to like a two weight. Um, yeah, I don't even see how much is in a skein. Oh, here it is. 270 yards, 246 meters in a skein. So I haven't even used half a skein yet. And uh, oops, I'm almost all done with the main part of the sweater. Put that off of there. So, oops. Here's just the little sweater I got going. It, oh, let's get it longer so we can see. I got like a half an inch or an inch long more to go before I do the the ribbing on the bottom and then picking up the sleeves and then I got to pick up the top here and put the collar on. But isn't that cute? The yarn is really nice. If I'll show you the back. It's really super soft. It's going to be so nice on the baby. So there it is. Oh, hold on. Well, that's all I got, so I guess I'll let you go. Thanks for coming. Have a great day, and please like and subscribe. Thank you.